Yeah, uh huh. Got my two homies with me today. Down here at this little public pond. Adam and Gary are going to catch all the fish. I'm just going to watch them. I'm going to start off with a weightless Cinco here. Stick bait anyway. See if I can get another three pounder like I got here the other day with my daughter. I thought you had one already when I saw that. The one jumped up right here, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It didn't look that way the other day. I guess I'll switch off for a second. Switch off to a moving bait to see what I can do with the moving bait.
What do you think? Three pounds? Two pounds? That might be five. Five? Okay. Hey Gary, Adam said it was a five pounder. So I like your scale better. So we're just out here having fun, a couple. Three, three of us guys just enjoying ourselves here. A couple old guys and a young guy. Did you tie on a lipless, Gary? Yeah, might as well, huh? Of course, I probably caught the only fish in this area. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm just to your right. Yes, yes. yes. Yes, sir. Holy shit. Yes, sir. You're a regular smart ass, aren't you? Okay. I got a little wet there. Yes, sir. Well, it was worth it. Yes, he was. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. oh boy. Look up at me, Adam. Look up at me, Adam. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yeah. I'd like to get in the lure. Yeah. Love that. Chunk. Smoke nice that, fish. Smoke that KRR. This is why I come to Southwind, guys. That is about a four or five. Yeah. I'm gonna say five, five, four, five and a quarter. You don't think it's beating my first one at Freddy's this year? It I've might. Been waiting to beat that one. She's kind of fat. She's kind of fat. It might. It might be. Hey 
Gary, when you get done, throw his ass in the water. Yeah. <laughs> they already went in. <laughs> You got your scale? Yep. Alright, need pliers? Nope. nope. Good job, man. Good job. Heck yeah. Give it to me. What have we got out there? Now there's a top water. If that's a fish, that might be a second nice one. Bring it up, let's get you up. Walk, walk around this way. Adam, you're shaking. Zeroed out. Five even. Five even. Nice. Show it to you. Nice. Five pounds even. Good job, Adam. Thank you. Let's see. There's a, there is a pipe out there, Gary, but it's like a clay pipe. It's out at the very end, so keep walking this way. We got 21 inches, 21 and a quarter maybe. 21. Let's hurry up and get her back. Go, girl. Beautiful. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> I'm just helping you up, but yeah, man, nice, <laughs> oh, God, nice fish. That's nice worth fish. It. I'll be hot here in a bit anyway. I'll dry out. Yes! <laughs> Had a feeling that top water bite just where it's been for me every morning. Here recently for my big ones. Yeah? Yep. All of them ones I've been catching, all top water. I can't get bit by big ones on anything else. Oh, Gary got hung up. Is he using uh, Lipless. Yeah, well, what do you got hung up on out there? there there's a... Uh... You don't get hung up after often out there, do you like that? No, but he I fished fast. Let it sit. He might have let it sit if I caught that fish. He stopped. And... Uh-huh. That's what happened. She come off? No. Well, what, what's out there, if you remember right, is that, is that drop off. There's a clay pipe and, and maybe a, a few rocks. Now, I've got hung up a few times what I thought was hung up, and I, and I reeled on in, and I actually caught like a... Uh, it was a rock, but it was a, a different uh, type, like a real porous. Could have got a turtle, too. Another big ass fish. I didn't see anything. My other son, what are you doing? <laughs> Too much Yep. Yeah, 310. Nice. Hold her up here a little bit so, I can, so the guys can see her. Let the fish go. Yep, exactly. That's what I'm going to do right there. Take some pictures of scale. 
Nice, nice. Great catch, Adam. thing floats, right? Yep. Yeah. But you know one of the keys with it, I think over a bunch of other stuff, why them are so success, how slow you can go with them. Inch it along the surface, I mean slow, and it'll still be out there. Yeah. Yeah, you got your thumb cut there, too. Yep. Yeah. The hook, hook got me. Oh, wow. In her. That's why I ended up using this. Ah, I see. Yeah. Well, that's about as slow as I can. I know. So we're going to start calling yeah, Adam. No, it floats and you can go for the slow with him still. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to nickname Adam the Lunker King. <laughs> no, I'm just. Come here. He's a punk. He's. Hold on, yeah. I got to put all this back up. Put that back in there. That's important. That's my uh, old batteries and stuff. All right. There you are, Gary. Nobody skunked today. Boom, that's when they hit it. Jump for shot. Oh, yeah. I guess the smaller. I went to, a, to the uh, flea market out there on Sangamon Moss last summer. And uh, these, these are antique. Uh huh. So last year, Gary. Are they Gary, the wooden ones? Yeah. They are. Look at this jitterbug. <sighs> Look at that popper. That came in a tackle box that I bought. It's already got a hook yeah, broke off of it. So it yeah, there's some big ones of these yeah. that uh, a yeah. guy gets and mods them. You yeah. send them to him, and he does certain things to them for you, and they do way better, perform way better, and he catch he got over 110 double digits under his belt. Wow. This was in a tackle box. And he box. only goes out at night. Only at night? That's the only time he this, goes out. This was in a tackle box I bought for 20 bucks over in Canton, Illinois, last, a couple, three years ago. I'm going to give these to Gary. Yep, he needs it. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Yep. Alright, look. Last summer, I went to the flea market out there on Sangamon. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't cast your pole yet. Sorry. Uh, maybe three years ago, Jenny, Lori, and myself took a trip over to Canton. It was it was during the about the middle of the pandemic, right? Yeah. Let me get on this side of it in case you have to set the hook. So I got this at the Springfield Flea Market yeah. out there on Sangamon. Yeah. And it's antique. I mean, it's got lines still on the thing where it's been used, and, and the guy did this on purpose so when he's coming through the water, he won't snag up on hydrilla and stuff or, you know, moss and shit like that. Right. Okay. Hand carved out of wood. Oh, it is? Yeah. So that's from the Springfield Flea Market. One thing well, it says about these, one, uh -huh. these are high maintenance baits. Once they start messing up on you, you almost got to tune it and mess with it after every cast because sometimes it won't be swimming right. Oh, I get, get it. it. This I get it. Did it yet at all. It hmm. This on our trip to Canton, I bought a, a <coughs> I bought a tackle box for twenty Lucky bucks. thirteen, yeah. I've got some I, of those. <coughs> I passed up the tackle box when I first saw it because I, I looked at the price tag of twenty bucks and I says I, I can get a brand new one for twenty seven. Not thinking. So I'm walking through the store. And it's like a. a second hand in a consignment store. So Jenny comes up to me and she says, hey dad, did you see the tackle box over there uh, in, in the middle of the store? And I told her, I, don't know if that's gonna... I told her, yeah, I, but I didn't want to pay $20 for a used tackle box. She says, yeah, but dad, did you open it up? <laughs> and I says, no. And she says, well, come with me. And she opened it up and I'm like, Oh, okay. <laughs> so I picked it up. This was in that. So oh, yeah. last year you gave me a package of hooks or two, a couple packages of hooks, I think. So 
so this this is my uh, from me to you just because man you, you're my brother want me to hang this on your hat no I'm gonna set it on top of your tackle box or I'll set it in your tackle box Go right over there in the building. They're modern. Yeah, it's about six and one half dozen the other. Well. Well, thank you. It's a little closer. You're welcome. I, I think your your equipment's big enough to hold that. I think. Or you can come up with something that is. There's your rod. I'm going to go over there on, on the uh, other side of my adopted son. And, uh, and I'm going to, I told him I was going to. I didn't want to leave this. Yeah. I'm glad he's catching those fish today. You see how excited he gets? Oh. Yeah, that well, five pounder, he was shaking. I would too. Yeah, yeah. Adam, one more, buddy. You're going swimming. 